Hello, we are going to talk about AP testing instructions today. So let's get ready for AP testing. I'm gonna start out by talking about the check-in process. So please, please, please leave your backpacks and phones at home. If you bring them, they will be checked and secured and you will have no access to your phones or backpacks during the breaks. If you have a backpack, please put your phone in the backpack so we can check everything together. You'll get a sticker to check your bag or phone, and that way you'll know where to find your bag or phone by that number that's on the sticker. And please remember you need to show your ID when you're checking in um, for AP testing. Again, you will have no access to these phones or backpacks during the breaks, so take your snacks out of your backpack or have snacks separate so that you can bring them in with you to the test. Okay, so let's talk about what you should bring on the day of your AP exam. Obviously bring your ID, a picture ID, because you're gonna use that to check in. You should bring snacks and water. Again, take these out of your backpack. They can be put in like a clear Ziploc bag so they're easier to carry. You need to bring two sharpened number two pencils with erasers, good erasers. Also two pens with black or dark blue ink. You can wear a watch as long as it does not have internet access. It can't beep, it can't make any noises or have any alarms on it. You can also bring up to two approved calculators with the necessary capabilities. If you're taking an AP bio, calculus, chemistry, environmental science, physics, macroeconomics, pre-calculus, or statistics exam. And you can see here um, the places you can go online to check to see which kind of calculator you can use, but your AP teachers for these courses will also know what kind of calculators you can use. You may also bring a ruler or straight edge if you're taking AP physics. Uh, pro protractors are not allowed for these exams. And once you've checked in, you'll sit down and we'll immediately start filling out your answer sheet with the little bubble dots. And I'll explain that in a moment. Okay, now we're gonna talk about where the exams are located. All of the exams are pretty much located at Grace Brethren Church, which is located at 3601 Linden Avenue. This is written on the schedule of uh, AP exams I gave to all of your AP teachers, which should be posted somewhere in the classrooms. There's also a schedule posted on the outside of Miss Medina's office, who is the PACE counselor. It's posted on her door in that hallway across from the activities office. Spanish is gonna be here at the big gym at Poly. French is gonna be here at Poly in the library. Chinese and Japanese are gonna be here at Poly in room 809. And Mr. Pluton's AP Modern World History class, you're also gonna test here at Poly in the big gym. Okay, now let's discuss uh, late exams that you might need. If for some reason you're having a sport playoff um, or you have hopefully not an injury, but if you get a serious injury or need to be hospitalized and then you need to take a late exam, you need to notify me as soon as you can so that I can order a late exam. I'm in room 113. My name's Mrs. Weber. Uh, you can also email me at gweber at lbschools.net so that we can order a test for you during late testing, which begins on May 22nd. So the tests will be May 22nd, 23rd, and 24th. All right, now we're going to talk about bubbling in those bubble sheets as soon as you've checked in and you've arrived. Okay, once you sit down, uh, you should take all of your snacks, and remember they can be in a clear Ziploc bag in your water. Put those under your desk. And then we're gonna get started with just your pencils and your two pens and a calculator if you're allowed, and then we're gonna talk about bubbling in your sheet. As Soon as you sit down, you're not gonna talk to your friends. You don't need to go to the bathroom. You're gonna check in, go sit down, and start bubbling immediately. You don't need instructions to be told to bubble. I want you to sit down and start bubbling. So, what you do, last name. I'm gonna put in my last name, W-E-B-B-E-R, and then I find the bubbles that go under that. There's a W, then an E, and notice I'm using a number two pencil. I'm not using my pen, I am using a pencil. 
and I'm just gonna bubble in all of that. Next, first name, your APID, how do I find that? That's on the label sheet you were given when you checked in. Your APID is right here and it's right here. Okay, you're just gonna take that number with the letter, fill that in and start bubbling that in as well. Date of birth, you don't need anyone to tell you your date of birth, you know it. So put in your month and your day, mine June, and then 20, so I'm gonna do June two zero, and I'm full, filling in the bubbles fully. I'm not doing an X, that's not gonna help us. All right, next, your AP ID label. These are your AP ID labels. Um, you need to take those off, and you're gonna place it right here on the gray one, right there, AP ID label. What happens if I put it in the blue one? I'm not gonna pick it off, I'm gonna leave it right there, AP College Board will figure it out. But those are the things you can fill out right away when you sit down, including the date of the month. We all know it's May, that's always gonna be 05, so we're doing 05. Someone put in the wrong date last year and it held the scores because it looked like we gave the test on an illegal day and I had to give a lot of proof that we did not give it on the wrong day. So please pay attention to the date your proctor's giving you for the day, but all of them will be 05 and then a date. Okay, so please fill out A, B, C, put your label here and 05 on the date, and then you'll get further instructions for everything else. Thank you.